Okay. Welcome to Let's Be Frank. Um, you'll see that Herman is missing today, but I have invited the beautiful Jamie to Aww. join me. <laughs> Thank you so um, much for having me. It's a pleasure. So we decided to talk about something that um, Jamie is quite, I hate using this term, passionate about. I'm trying to think of a better way to say it. Something that you enjoy, something mm -hmm. that makes you happy. Mm -hmm. And that is gaming. It's also something that makes a lot of the guys that work here happy. So it's a nice thing to talk about. Um, for, for myself personally, I used to be a gamer. I don't know if you can say that when I was um, 13, 14 years old, I played um, Heroes of Might and Magic and Warcraft 2 and Civilization and a few other ones. Um, but I don't know if it's right to say that I grew out of it <laughs> because there are obviously a lot of adults that are into it. So mm -hmm. what is the what do you enjoy about gaming? For me, it's actually the social aspect. It's about people coming together and all having a similar interest in yeah. something. And more often than not, we all have similar pers personalities. Like, um, mostly introverted, but I have met quite a few extroverts. Okay. Um, and just on that point of socialization, I've met my best friends online. That's really interesting because a lot of people will think that um, gaming is very antisocial mm. and very much you sit at home with no one and don't talk to anyone. So it's an interesting thing that you bring up right in the beginning that it's a social... Yes, that's it, it's that's the best part about it. And I think that's why people enjoy gaming. So when I mention gaming, I'm talking about online gaming because mm -hmm. there are different types. You get the offline gaming, which is also great. And that's how, you know, most of us started. That's how I started. Yeah. I actually started at the age of three okay. with games. Um, and I played Unreal Tournament in 1999 and people would probably remember that so I was four at the time and okay. I was shooting people and killing them <laughs> but I turned out all right very PC <laughs> yes and um the thing is it Sorry, you know that stupid. the whole stereotype around it being you know so evil and it just makes you aggressive I mean not true no absolutely <laughs> not absolutely. so you're not evil and aggressive Jamie <laughs> I would hope you not. don't have desires to kill people <laughs> don't answer that <laughs> <laughs> it could it could be held against you in a court of law. Yes, yes, yes. No. Um, so, okay, so that's really interesting. So what games do you play now? And do you <clears> play um, PC or console? Okay, so I grew up playing PC games. Okay. Um, I did use consoles growing up, but like the old uh, Sega and Nintendo consoles with like three buttons on yeah. the thing. Um, so my Sonic the Hedgehog. Yes, and those yes, just like that. Yeah. Alex the Kid, you okay. know, Mario Brothers, okay. that kind of thing. Um, at the moment, it is only PC for me, and I, I actually, for the life of me, can't use console games because okay. of the joystick. I, <laughs> it's just, I can't do it. Okay. So I, I don't hate people who play console. There's no <laughs> there's <animosity>. race, <laughs> race war there. Um, so I play at the moment, I'm playing Overwatch mainly, that's um, a Blizzard title. Um, World of Warcraft, if I can afford the subscription. Um, I have yeah. played a lot of Guild Wars 2, I'm talking about 2,400 hours of it. In Is that a PC game? Yes, okay. it, it's a huge, uh, it's not huge, but it's a big MMO. It, um, uh, so I was the head of a South African guild there, 500 people, okay. for, a couple, for about three years. So that was my job. It was, okay. it was like, it, I wasn't paid for it. And I was, was going to no, ask, can you make money from it? <laughs> um, not from that, hey. Okay. Um, they, it, you could possibly make money from um, esports. Yeah. And like, now we're jumping like yeah. all around. Um, but no, it's, uh, for me, it was never about the money or, you know, that kind of thing. It was just about the people, the people you meet. And did you meet these people in person or was it all online? Okay. <laughs> so um, my best friends, I have met in person, but they were from Cape Town. Okay. So we became best friends online and then I flew to Cape Town and stayed with them for 10 oh, days awesome. and it was absolutely amazing. But with the guild and that kind of thing, we have had guild meetups okay. and I usually aim to meet everyone I like play games with because then it would be a bit weird if yeah. your best friends are people you've never met. That's so. very cool. Okay. So then tell me a little bit about the monetization. I, obviously you hear mm. about the tournaments um, mm. and how much money some of those teams make in those tournaments. So, I mean, what does that mean in the South African context? Is there a lot of money? Um, yeah. Okay. So at the moment in South Africa, it is not profitable enough to make money off of it. I think there's one um, esports team that actually pays its play uh, players the salary. Um, but no, for, um, for people that are not players, they are not th there's not a lot of money in my personal mm. opinion for it but that's from a research i've done yeah um but it is getting there i mean it's in, in the world esports is a 1.5 billion dollar industry and it's supposed to double yeah in about two I years i heard something that it's up in the top um payout uh, things as like tennis um boxing mm. you know some of those really huge payout sports that um, esports is up there with it absolutely yeah. and like if you're good at it you could make millions <laughs> and it, it's brilliant because um it's something that you generally just genuinely love yeah and it's it, it, i don't know it's 
it requires as much strength and determination as any other sport. Yeah. But I don't know. It just I prefer it. I I I, yeah. I believe it's a sport. Well, you briefly mentioned um, so it's a hobby, but it's not a free hobby. I mean, you mentioned mm-hmm. w- World of Warcraft that you have to pay a subscription. Um, and also, I just think about the computer and the components that you need a good graphics card and things like that. So it's not a cheap hobby to have. It's something that you have to really be into. To yes. You. Yeah. So um, when I bought my PC, I think my PC cost at the time two thousand and thirteen about 12,000 Rand, mm-hmm. and now the graphics card's completely outdated, so it's about 6,000 Rand more. My PC components <laughs> cost more than my house. <laughs> so I put in a lot of money in it, but you know what? You feel it. Yeah. When you spend a lot of money on gaming, you can feel it You know, improve your game yeah. and just make everything better. Yeah. It's actually a weird thing, but it's commercialization, but it's... Okay. Thing. Do you think it is, so a lot of people would say, I mean, I'm just talking some of the stereotypes about gaming. Do you think that it is um, a form of escapism? Is it for people who um, can't interact very well socially that use it to kind of live a different life, be a different person? Because I know that there's the whole idea that you can be a different character and you can live that character. Mm-hmm. So kind of like acting. Um, do you think that that's relevant? Like, I, I mean, you know what? With everything, there are extreme cases, and there are obviously people that do use it as escapism. Mm. I mean, I've personally used it as escapism. I mean, when uh, you know, when you suffer with, like, for depression, for example, gaming is an amazing outlet, and um, it's not. I didn't use it to ex- ex- escape reality completely, but it did help by bringing together people with similar problems, and then we basically helped each other yeah. through gaming. Yeah. So it was um, the, it's a distraction, but at the same time, um, it really stimulates your mind. I mean, it's so much better than sitting in front of a TV and watching something. Like, yeah. when people say um, they want to do that, no one you know says anything about it, yeah. but the second you say, I'm playing a game... People say that you're wasting time. Yes, <laughs> but, at, in, yeah. in, but the entire thing is I'm doing so much more. I'm stimulating my mind. I'm, I'm using my hands. Yeah. I mean, there's even a study that shows that surgeons who play games are better decision makers because okay. in gaming you need to make a decision you know, in a split, split, second. Yeah, split second. So it actually helps you in your career. I mean, honestly, I got my job because I was a gamer. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll um, attest to that because we interviewed you and when we got your CV, it was one of the things that we found quite interesting mm-hmm. about you was that you said that gaming was one of your hobbies. And Yes, yeah. and um, I actually do have my own gaming community at the moment. This is not an ad much, <laughs> but I wanted to tell you how much yeah. I love it. So, yeah. um, my no, gaming... but you're allowed to. I mean, Jason punted his, uh, his art YouTube channel, so, so you're welcome to. <laughs> um, so my gaming community is called Zyety Gaming. Okay. And Zyety from Urban Dictionary, Dictionary means well, over- that's never a good um <laughs> okay. place to go for definitions yes. but yes okay so go. it's a made up word so <laughs> the definition on urban dictionary which we use is overcoming anxiety through finesse when you have anxiety but you know that you're going to overcome it and that's what the gaming community is based on it's based on knowing that you know people are dealing with so much of yeah Am I allowed to say shit? Yeah, you're allowed to. <laughs> so Don't much you watch this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> so much of shit on a daily basis, yeah. and especially with mental illness. And so we understand that gaming is an outlet that you use to you know, you relieve those kinds yeah. of symptoms. So we formed a community that brings like-minded individuals together to help people cope with things they can't cope with by That's themselves. That's very cool. I like that. And I think it is, I know it's a stereotype, but it is a fact that a lot of people that are really into gaming do have those kinds of anxiety problems. Yes. So it's a very cool way I've, to overcome it. I think I've barely met anyone without <laughs> any kind of form of anxiety or depression yeah. or something. Like yeah. if, if you find someone online that doesn't have it, you're yeah. like, what? <laughs> you're weird. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, cool. That's really interesting. So, okay, you mentioned that you play Overwatch at the moment. I know I've heard you talking about a game called Ark as well. Do you oh, yes. Oh, Ark Survival Evolved. <laughs> uh, yes. So that I know that there's dinosaurs. So yes, you know. yes. And, you know, because I want to study yeah. paleontology. Yeah. So, uh, so I have close to a thousand hours in the game. Um, and it's basically a survival game with dinosaurs. So you put onto a random island and then you need to survive. You need to eat. You need to sleep. You need to worry about, like, the temperature. Yeah. And then to survive, everything's trying to kill you. Yeah. You can knock out dinosaurs. Very, yeah. very savage. <laughs> but knock them out and then tame them. And then use them to harvest the land and to survive. That's and very cool. it is, absolutely. And it has amazing communities in South yeah. Africa. 
So I also find that, I mean, there's a lot of negative stigma around gaming and that it's, you know, that it's people getting away from the real world and go outside and play. But you can actually learn so much from it. And I watched a friend of mine playing God of War recently. And like the history Mm. that you can learn from God of War is so interesting. And it makes you want to find out more. So like I heard something and I'm like, oh, is that true? Let me go and like Google it and find out more about that Mm -hmm. um, portion of history, which is very cool. That's my actually one of my other favorite parts of gaming because it's it's, it taught me so much about history and about just things you never would learn on a, na- yeah. on a daily basis yeah. um, and most most often I think with God of War it's factually correct yeah. I mean with Ark it's not always <laughs> correct like the dinosaurs are yeah. but graphically different too big or that kind yeah. of thing but it teaches you so much and yeah. I know, know so much about dinosaurs yeah. just from playing games yeah. and, and completely right history yeah. art well even like something as, um, as kind of silly and small as worms um i used to play worms mm. and there you learn about like the different like um dynamics and physics of weapons and yes. and air strikes and bazookas and things like exactly. that like, like it's I very mean, interesting i'm i'm mild mannered and that kind of thing but i know so much about guns from playing <laughs> csgo like if i see a gun in real life i can place it i can say mm, that's an m14 what are you doing with it so, so yeah so. there's I, a I, lot to learn from gaming absolutely don't just shoot it down i think mm-hmm. is, is kind no, of the moral of the story it's, if, you, it's, if it's not for you that's fine but respect that it is for other people yeah you know that yeah. uh, that's actually absolute horseshit to yeah. say things like people with that game don't have any lives and that they're still being kids like we spoke about yeah. it and um that's absolutely not true i mean that's like saying people who watch Rick and Morty uh, want to be kids <laughs> because it's them. a cartoon. <laughs> exactly, I will kill them too because Rick and Morty's live. Yeah, yeah. No, so I think I think it's really important to have these conversations because a lot of people are negative about gaming, um, mm. and and so I think. I think it comes down to, I say I think a lot, it comes down to tolerance and respect and respecting someone else's views and interests and whatever. And I mean, that we have to do with everything in life. So I just think it's, this is just one of those areas where if it's not for you, that's fine. But maybe like do a little bit of research, find out a little bit about it and why other people find it interesting, which is why I'm really happy to have had you here today to answer some of these questions. Do you have any closing thoughts? (laughs) Yes, yes, absolutely. Like, um, Aside from people researching and understanding gaming, um, they could research it and, and realize that it's actually for them. <laughs> I mean, gaming is, is diverse. You, you think of gaming and you just think of being stuck in front of something. Yeah. But it's not like that. There's even a farming game like that teaches you to grow crops. Exactly. <laughs> There's everything. Like we were yeah. speaking about it, like Train Simulator. Yeah. I think it's actually the most expensive game in the world because of the expansion packs and it goes up to $60,000 or something yeah. because there's so many games. Yeah. Um, but my point is, um, you know, you could find something for you. There's yeah. a game for everything. If, <laughs> do you know what I mean? That's very cool. Thank you so much, Jamie. It's been great having you as a special guest today. Thank you. And um, maybe we'll find something else to talk about oh, definitely. in a future podcast. We can talk about and how I don't know what to do with my hands. <laughs> it is very uncomfortable. <laughs> I know. You have to get used to it, but I've just gotten used to being comfortable with being uncomfortable, which is another topic that Herman and I plan to talk about sometime. Okay. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank Cheers. you. Thank you.